Welcome back to The Body Coach TV and welcome to day number two of my seven days of sweat challenge. A brand new workout every day for seven days, lasting just 20 minutes long and you don't need any equipment. You can do it any time of day at home, in the office, in the garden, wherever you might be. So let's crack on, it's a 20 minute session, 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 30 second rest. And I really want you to put as much effort as you can into it. If you need to have a little bit more rest, take your time, recover, and just jump back into the workout when you can and try and complete the full 20 minutes. Okay, here we go. So the first exercise, nice and simple. We're gonna start on the ground in a plank position, and we're gonna be tapping our shoulder for 30 seconds. Off we go. So the shoulder taps, shoulder taps. And if you can see, I'm not rocking my body, I'm keeping my hips nice and square to the ground so my abs are working. Tap, tap, tap. Good, we're doing 30 seconds. Then we rest, tap, tap, tap. Good, you've got another 10 seconds on the clock. Keep tapping your shoulders, squeezing the abs. Last couple of seconds. And relax, good. Happy out we get. Next exercise we're gonna do from the side is just gonna be a nice squat. Again, if you haven't got the range to get really low, you can just do a half squat. But just keeping your back nice and straight, look straight ahead and squeeze your glutes, your glutes and your quads as you come to the top. I feel a little bit stiff from yesterday actually. Right, so we're gonna sit down, back straight. From there we drive through the heels, stand up into a nice straight squat. So front on, let's go, so down and up, good. Just nice controlled reps, 30 seconds on each move, then we rest for 30 seconds. Oh, lost me balance, that's it, good. So sitting down, trying to keep the weight in the heels and driving the knees out. Don't let your knees cave in, you know, like really try and push them out and drive through the heels. Good. Perfect and relaxed. Right, next exercise we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. We're just gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. So it's gonna be left leg forwards, right leg back. So nice controlled reps for 30 seconds. We've got another 15 second rest. And I'm obviously quite flexible in my hips so I can get right down. If you can't, you just have to do shallow reps like this. If you just have to come like that, that's fine. Just load the leg and stand up through it. Let's go to lunge. Just working that left leg. And then we'll swap. I really want to hit the legs today because they're big muscle groups. So I really want to fire them up, burn lots of energy. Good, keeping that back nice and straight. You can put your hands to your side if you want, or by your waist, wherever you feel, wherever it gives you most balance. And relax, good. So, you should feel that in the front leg. We're now doing the same thing. Right leg forward. Again, hands either out to the side wherever you need the balance. 30 seconds again on that leg. All right, quickly drink. Every day is going to be different. I'm going to keep you guessing. Nothing's going to be the same. I'm going to change the times a little bit so it won't, it won't always be 30 30. But left leg's going back. It's going good. Left leg's going back. Oh. Nice big step. And I'm really focused on pushing through the heel of my front foot. There's a bend. Come up. Oh, it's a good little exercise, this one. Good. And relax. Perfect. Okay, next one I want to do is a sumo squat. What we're going to do is we're going to turn our feet out nice and wide as if we're a sumo wrestler. And you're going to come down, same thing, into a squat. It's just going to target your legs slightly different angle. So nice and wide. Feet turned out. Back straight. Coming down and stand up tall, squeeze the glutes again at the top, yeah? Right, here we go. So nice wide stance, turn those feet out. Perfect. Ooh. Keeping the back nice and straight. So try not to kind of lean forward with your back, you know, keep the weight in your heels. Back nice and straight. 
Good effort, we've got 10 seconds to go. Brilliant, and relax, right. Down on the ground. We're now gonna do an upper body exercise. We're gonna do some press ups, but we'll do them from the knees. And we're gonna do a press up and then reach up. So you go press and reach. Do this from the knees for now. So we're going again in 10 seconds time. So it's gonna be narrow push ups, so hands quite close, elbows tucked in, come up and reach. Here, so down. Down, good, nice controlled reps, so slow it down. Brilliant. 10 seconds on this exercise. Then we're gonna go onto our back. Perfect, right. So we're now gonna go onto our back and do an exercise for the hamstrings and the glutes. It's called a glute bridge. Now, you've got two options. You can keep both feet on the ground and do both together. Or if you want to make it harder, lift one leg up and focus on just doing one foot at a time. So I'm going to do a single leg. I'm going to do 30 seconds on the left and then do 30 seconds on the right. If you want to do both sets with both feet on the ground, do that. But left leg up, sorry, the right leg up and let's lift. <coughs> Good, so we're driving our hip, foot into the ground and our hips off the ground. So you're using your hamstrings and your glutes to create that movement. Ah. Good, squeeze up. Really drive that hip off the ground. Think about this working. Oh, wow, that does fire that up big time. So same again on the right leg. Left leg up, and we drive. Really good posterior exercise. So we're going again in 10 seconds time. Have a little breather. Okay, here we go. So left leg up in the air. Good, and drive. Just working that single leg. Well, I can really feel this one. Squeeze. Lift. Oh, it's tough. Oh, wow. I'm really fatigued in my glutes from that. Work up yesterday, I also ran a 5k, I tried to like run a really fast 5k, it just buckled me, right. Up we get. Next one I'm gonna do is basically a, la a lateral lunge. We'll start in the middle of the mat and we're gonna lunge out to the side. So if you can't go right down, just do a little shallow rep like this. Just step into that lateral leg. So you're gonna step, and obviously the more mobile you get, the more you can get down. Off we go, so step. Step, good. Keep that back straight. Keep your arms up parallel to the ground and that will help you from kind of leaning over. Oh, oh click your knee right. Last few reps. We've got 10 on the clock. Perfect, keep going. And my lats, brilliant, right. Down on the mat, we're now doing another abs ab exercise. And basically, what we're going to do from this position here, if you can, we're going to bring our knee towards our elbow. If that's too advanced, just stay in the plank. If you can, try and bring that knee outwards. Really quite tough. Really makes your abs work. Good, just elbow. Try and get the knee right up towards the elbow. Again, if it's too hard, just hold a plank. Oh. 
10 seconds. This is a tough exercise. And my last good, right. We're staying on the ground again. Another great one for the core and also our upper body. We're gonna put our legs wide like this, hand in the middle, and we're gonna twist one, hand down, twist. So we'll do 30 seconds on that one. Really opening up that shoulder. Here we go. Getting a little sweat on now. So wipe hand, uh, feet, hand in the middle. We twist, return, twist. And twist, good. And twist. Keep the abs tight. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your bum. And relax, brilliant. Okay, up we get. Let's drink. Next thing we're gonna do, a pulsing squat. So we're gonna come down into a squat position and we're just gonna pulse like this. So we're staying in the lower part. We're not actually coming up, it's gonna keep the tension, it's gonna be really tough, it's gonna burn after about 10 seconds. Okay, let's go, just pulsing. Weight in the heels, back nice and straight. Just little pulses, stand down low, don't come up. Okay, so back straight, weight in both the heels evenly. Oh, well. Let's burn in a minute, 10 seconds. Come on, pulse, stay strong, push through it. Don't give up. Oh, ow. That is rank, I hated that one. Oh, the burn is real on that one. Right, so now we're gonna go on our back. Let's give our legs a little rest. Oh. Okay, next exercise I'm gonna do. One of my favourite ab ones. Basically, we're going to start with this. Then we're going to kick out and crunch. Here we go. So stretch and crunch. Stretch and crunch. Stretch and crunch. If that's too hard to stretch, just do the crunch. Just to there, yeah? You can just do the crunch to there. If you can't do the full stretch out, Control it as well, feel the muscles working. Contract, hold. You've got to make sure you engage them. Otherwise, it's just like neck and you'll, you'll just be swinging up and rocking, but you've really got to kind of focus in on them. Oh, I'm getting a sweat on now. Right, so next exercise. On the mat, we're going to do a glute kickback. So from here, we're just going to kick. And this might look a bit of a basic move, but really, if you think about the muscle, if you think about your right glute, and you squeeze up, you can really feel it, off we go. So squeeze, squeeze that foot. So squeeze your glute and push your foot up towards the ceiling. Squeeze. Oh. Ow. Feeling that in your glute massively. Right, same again. Just gonna be left leg up in the air. Just get a nice strong base. And then the effort is really kind of not just there, it's in that last little push at the top. And you really have to squeeze the glutes. So come from there, just bring your knees in line and then drive it up. There we go. So squeeze. Keep that foot to the ceiling. So left glute is doing the work. Kick back, come and kick up, up, up. Just 
hold one there for a few seconds just to feel the muscle work. So hold it for three, two, one, good, carry on. Just activate the muscle. Last little push. Oh. oh. That's a killer. Right, where am I going? On our front. This time we're going to be hands on the ground. We're going to step our foot there and back. Step and back. Step and back. Try and get your foot next to your hand. If you can't, anywhere to the outside is fine. Okay, so from here, look. So right foot, back, left foot, back. I've got a sweat, sweat on now. Last few seconds, we've got 10 on the clock. That's a great exercise for like opening up your hips. So, you know, having to do that, really good for your hip mobility. If it's taken me a while to get there. You know, I used to be there and I've managed to just work on that. Okay, on our backs. Another abs exercise. We're going to do a reverse crunch. So you lay flat on the ground and basically you're going to take your feet towards the ground and then reverse crunch. Bringing those knees off, your knees towards you, hips off the ground. Let's go. That's it. So knees towards you. The effort's not there, it's that bit. When you drive your hips off the ground. Come on, all the way till that bell goes. We're nearly there now. Good effort. Right, we've got three more moves. Up on our feet. Oh, I'm boiling now. Okay, three more moves. We're going to go for a faster kind of burpee. We're not going to go to chest to floor, hands on the ground, kick back and up. So there, there, up and stand. As quick as you can for 30 seconds. Let's go, so kick, stand, kick out, stand, good, come on. Kick out, stand, kick out, stand. Come on, shoot against the clock, as many as you can, you've got another 10 seconds to go. Okay, one more rep. Oh, killer, we're working up towards a full chest to floor burpee, so we get a little bit more challenging each day. 20 seconds on the clock to rest, we've got two more moves. What we're going to do now is lateral high knee. We're going to run from side to side. Nice and quick, left to right. Come on, knees up, knees up. Good, stop and back. Come on, 15 seconds left. Knees up, get them high, get them nice and high, really lift them up, pump the arms, 10 seconds. Come on, one more little run, and relax. Good effort. Okay, last exercise. We're going to do a walk out. So we start standing up, we walk out of this. Walk out, knee, knee, push up and back. A little bit complicated. So watch you walk out, you go knee, knee, and push up. Off we go. So walk hands out, walk out, walk, 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 knee, knee, then a push up. Walk back. Good. And again, come on, last exercise, last move. Knee, knee. Push up, walk back, 
and stand. Knee, knee, you can always put the knee down for your push-up, look. You can adapt it. One more for safety, one more for the win. Come on, one more together, walk out. Last one, knee, knee, one strong push-up. Uh, that is the end. Day number two, good effort, that was a tough little workout. Some new exercise in there. Obviously some need a bit more coordination and balance, but it's good to try new things. And um, if there's ever an exercise you can't do or you feel like that's just not, your body's not working that way or not moving and you haven't got the mobility, just swap it for something you like. A running on the spot, a plank, a squat. You don't have to follow every single exercise in the order. You might miss one out, have a little break, it's no problem. Um, but yeah, thanks for taking part in day number two of the seven days of sweat challenge. Have a great day, keep smiling, and I'll see you tomorrow for day number three of the seven days of sweat challenge.